actually that felt good that was fun I just had a mop of hair and I had to get rid of it so <laughs> you, know, you gotta like do spur of the moment things right <laughs> let's go back to the boat we have some sailing to do Look how pretty it looks. We're gonna have dinner there. Because you know what? We only had breakfast today and lunch was like a quick apple and that was it. So look where we are. And our boat is over there. Look at that picture, so pretty. And the sun is setting. Okay, this is to make your mouths water. <laughs> so kind, aren't I? An apple. Where did the apple come from? Apple? You could have an apple. Oh. Look at the place. So pretty. So it was really windy and the boat was really, really tilted. Yeah, and that little chuckle from Simon is because he's still able to balance his teacup just as well. He's such a pro. to the call point here at pile green 78 you have to call or mooring instructions port solid port solid port solid here vis -a -vis requesting <laughs> port solid port solid port solid yacht vis -a vis over vis -a -vis. Vis a vis, vis a vis, vis a vis. Over. No, no, no. With vis a vis, Port Solent. Yes. Port Solent, uh, we're on a final approach. Uh, Port Solent, we're on a final approach. Yeah, vis a vis, if you'd like to moor up on the outer waiting pontoon, then come up to the uh, marina office for your mooring instructions. Over. Very well, thank you. Over. We waited for the green light and then we proceeded to enter the marina. In this case, the water level in the marina basin was similar to the tidal water, so we were able to go straight in. We were told to moor at D4, so we came straight here. After a long day of sailing, an intense day of sailing, now it's time to take a break. We took a shower. They have really nice showers here. I think it was the longest shower I have ever taken. It was really nice. Warm water. No hot water. 
I took my time because today I didn't get a chance to take a shower because we had to leave right away because the tide was going to be very, very low and we wouldn't be able to get out. So right here by the marina, they have a whole bunch of restaurants and pubs and cafes uh, that you can go to. It's like a five minute walk, not even three minute walk. So we're going to have breakfast. Traditionally, what you do in England is uh, when you go to a pub, you order your food at the bar, you give them your table number, you pay it ahead of time, so you're paying for something that you haven't seen yet, and then they bring your food to the table. I ordered a traditional English breakfast, so it should be a lot. So look what I got, everybody. Do you think this will be enough for today? Ooh, pancakes. American pancakes with bacon. Nice. Classic, classic British breakfast stuff. <laughs> Now it was time to leave and it was very different this time because the tide outside was much lower than the water level inside the marina basin. We informed the lock master that we wanted to leave and when the name of our yacht was called, we went towards the lock. We had to tie ourselves to the side. So we are in the lock. The level is 2.5 meters. And it's starting to go down, as you can see. Ooh, we are going down. <laughs> Look at this. See how it's going down? And ooh, it's going very fast. We're approaching two meters now. So. We're below two meters now. So we're all cooped up in, in this lock. <laughs> and now, now the doors are opening so that we can go out. See? See if we can get the catamaran through there. <laughs> and now we're at the same water level as outside. Almost. <laughs> About a meter to go. Still? Yeah? Even though they, op they, they opened the door? Yep, you can see there's a, there's a step down. Let's Get see. Get a bit closer. Oh yeah, there is a step down. <laughs> so the, the water level is going even further down. Wow. See what I mean? Let me get a close up. I hope you can see that. Cool. And look at this side now. And we were at two and a half meters, remember? And now we're at zero practically. <laughs> okay, so now they're opening the doors. And then we'll be able to go out. light. Let's see how the catamaran gets out. There they go. First one's out. Thank you. It's our turn. Yes. So, a great place down there is a good clue, but over there is really shallow. Yeah. Red post, really shallow. There. See the bricks sitting on the boat just over <laughs> There are a lot of people waiting to get in. Let's 
So the depth is half a meter, and that means half a meter from the keel. That's all we have. Nice. So yeah, we just went through the Port Solon lock. Isn't that cool? Vinegar Tower in Portsmouth. There are actually people up top. You can see them. We are back in Hamble and we sadly have to say goodbye to Simon <laughs> and uh, he's here he's gonna say bye to you guys and if you have any last uh, advice to give them go sailing obviously come on <laughs> go sailing <laughs> have fun with it yeah it's it's well it's a it's a lovely alien place out there you just <laughs> got to go out and enjoy it it's not, it's not too scary. No, you well. just have to know what you're doing. <laughs> because uh, if you don't, you, there's a lot of traffic out there. And if you don't know what you're doing, it can really get hairy. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. You do need training. You have to know what you're doing. And that's what Simon was here for, to refresh our memories. And, well, <laughs> I had to learn <laughs> from step one, but to also refresh our memories. So. Well, Thank you so much. It's been has a pleasure. Been a pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Really enjoyed myself too. Fine victims. <laughs> <laughs> you took your abuse no, so he, well. No, you were the victim. <laughs>